Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. Today in 1990, Brian Keenan was released after uh, a period, a long period of being held hostage by Hezbollah in Lebanon. Uh, 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 a little while after he had started the ordeal, uh, he was joined um, by John McCarthy and the pair of them spent many, many weeks and months together um, chained um, to radiators um, in very small cramped conditions, um, wrapped up in, in sacks to be taken from one location to another, um, sharing this experience. And they clearly got very close to each other. Uh, in the books that each of them have written uh, about the experience, um, it, it, it's clear that they, they um, got to know each other really deeply and developed a, a great respect um, and ability to support each other. Um, they, they write about how they, one of them knew if the other one was getting descending into a kind of depression and would, would know how to bring them out of it so that there was this kind of mutual support and encouragement as they got through this ordeal together. And yet they were completely different kinds of people. Keenan from uh, growing up in East Belfast, um, John McCarthy going to a British public school uh, and indeed when they first met off after a while um, uh, uh, McCarthy uh, reports that he he said to Brian Keenan uh, please will you stop talking like Jerry Adams to which Keenan replied to him well please will you stop talking like Prince Charles they they were they were so very different uh, and yet they were able to support uh, and uh, and, in, and encourage each other I, I want to celebrate today uh, the way in which um, we can get enormous value and strength and interest in life from people who are very different from us. Uh, and I want to support it partly because of something Brian Keenan said about, about what John McCarthy did for him. He, he said that because he was so different, uh, it enabled um, Keenan to feel some validation of himself. He said, if we'd both been the same, um, I wouldn't have been able to uh, maintain that sense of my own identity over against someone else. But because we were very different, it gave me uh, a sense of who I was and a sense of who we was as being different, and therefore gave me, uh, enabled me to hold on to my who I, to who I am, as it were, who he was, even uh, in the br brutalizing conditions of, of his captivity. And so I think it's worth celebrating other people who are different from us and uh, consciously trying to uh, encourage uh, a, a relationship with people like that because it does, because by their very difference, uh, enable us to come to a clearer idea of who we are in contrast and helps us to um, find our own identity more clearly. Uh, and so today, celebrating difference between people and what we can f uh, learn from it is, is my thought uh, and my celebration.